So if you've been around on this channel for a while, you'll know that about a year ago, I reviewed the Amplitube 4 guitar modeling software from IK Multimedia, which is basically a way of having a ton of effects for your guitars without having to buy tons of equipment and needing a huge house. Um, I was really impressed with the software um, and it's something I've used ever since in all the recordings I've made with my band Backroom Stereo. Now IK Multimedia have just released Amplitude 5 and they were kind enough to get in touch with me and offer to send me a copy to review for you guys as well. I'm going to be using it over the next couple of weeks and recording some stuff and trying it out and I'll bring you a full review in a couple of weeks but this is just a first glance at the new software. Now before I show you some of the changes I want to answer two questions that you probably got if you're thinking about upgrading. The first is what about stuff I've purchased previously? If you're familiar with the model that Amplitude have, you get some effects to start with, but then you can buy add-on amps and cabs and mics and all sorts. Um, if you've purchased those previously, they do come across to Amplitude 5 and they get the upgrades that those particular sounds have had as well. That means where they re-recorded an amp, your previously purchased amp will now be the re-recorded one. This is particularly good because this is something that's likely to stop people from upgrading otherwise. And so it's great the things you've purchased previously come across. However, much like previous versions, if you've purchased something on an iPad version, it doesn't come across to the desktop and vice versa. This is largely because of the way Apple operate their app stores. The second question you might want to know is, well, what about all of the presets that I have created? So you've created some guitar sounds that you really like. Can you bring those presets across to the new version? And the answer is yes, and it's really easy to do. I've also made a tutorial video talking about how to do that, so be sure to check that out as well. And finally, before talking about some of the changes, it's worth saying that much like previous versions of Amplitude, there are various different tiers which get more expensive the higher up you go. So let's go through an overview and talk about some of the things that are new. So firstly, if you go on the website, IK Multimedia described this as a giant leap. One of the things they've done is they've reworked their cabinet technology with new volumetric impulse response. And the new one boasts 600 LTS per speaker. This basically means they've recorded even more angles from each speaker in each cab. This is great for making it sound more realistic and also being more responsive when you drag the microphones around to change the sound yourself. Now, I don't completely understand the tech behind this, but what it does mean is that it sounds much better than the previous version of Amplitude, and that's what's really important. If you do know what it is and you like messing around with the IRs, there's also now the option to import your own. The second thing that's new is that the signal chain can be completely customized. This gives you even more ways to customize your sounds beyond what was already an incredible choice. This means you can put an effects pedal wherever you like, or even have dual or triple amps and cabs. Thirdly, they've added some new gear, including some new stomp boxes, some amps, some cabs, some racks and rooms, alongside remastering all of the original gear. Of course, which gear you get depends on which version of a product you buy. Fourthly, and possibly the biggest change which you'll have noticed throughout this video so far, is the updated user interface. Coming at this from Amplitude 4, it's so much cleaner and easier to use than the previous version. The display looks better, it's even easier to manage your chain of equipment and to pick amps and cabs and mics, and picking your presets is much easier as well. On top of that, there's a brand new mixer as well. Everything about this interface as a whole is just so much cleaner and easier to navigate, and it takes away from all of the quirks that were in Amplitube's 4 interface. Another nice thing is you can even resize the window. So let's just have a play around with a few sounds. I've not played anything fancy, I just wanted to give you a feel for the software. So I'm going to be using this a lot more over the next couple of weeks and I'm going to bring you guys a full review then so be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be first to know when that video is posted. If you've got any questions or things you want me to address in that review video do comment with those below and I'll see you guys again soon.